Oh my god. Yep. Yep. Dude, that's a giant, Bradley. I'm running. Oh my gosh. This is a big one. Guys, we're about to catch fish in a sewer. Little drainage pipe. It's not that bad. Come here real quick. Yeah, yeah come here. <laughs> Dude, if I catch a fish inside this, I don't even know what I'm going to do. This is a... Here's the title right here. Oh, we'll get, we'll get oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, there's a big snake right there. Yep. Oh sh Yo, you still on the phone? Boys, we got a banger today. This is gonna be a good one. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. I haven't filmed like a bank fishing video in quite some time now. And we're gonna try to go bed fishing today, sight fishing, and see if we can catch some monster fish. I got my boy Bradley down there. You guys have not seen Bradley in the videos in quite some time. What's up? Hold up, I gotta show my boy Bradley. What's up, Bradley? What's up, Bradley? You wanna say anything to the fam, man? We're gonna catch a big boy today. Don't. How big? Like seven plus. Seven plus. So tell him your little story about yesterday that you've been hyping to me about. I don't know if he's lying or not, but he, he's been telling me some stories. Well, I caught three fish yesterday. Everyone was over five pounds. What, fish. what was a big fish? It was eight. All right. So we got a chance. We got a chance today. So what are, what are we going to be doing at this place that we're starting out on? We're going to basically be throwing a crankbait and a worm. The whole time. Some crawls, okay. some, uh, I got some secret juice that I He's brought out too. got secret juice, I got different juice. So. <laughs> we're going to be catching some big fish. I'm going to go over what baits I'm going to be throwing today, and we're just going to try to make it happen. I'm excited. I haven't filmed like a bank fishing video in a minute, so let's go ahead and rig up, get it started, catch some big fish. Let's get it. All right, it's time to rig up right here. I got a bunch of stuff laid out that I think we're going to try out today. Um, like Bradley said, we're going to be catching them off of bed, so primarily soft plastics today is what we're going to be going with i got a few things laid out i actually pulled a few things out of my super six box if you guys want to check out the super six box pop my coat up on the screen i must fill up all premium products best box on the market but let me show you what i pulled out so i have some clouts right here and these are pretty much yeah that's a juice color well, well no 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 this no, is the I like juice that color better. you like this color like better yeah, so this is the June bug red. And then we got the clout. This is dark water bug. Remember Bradley That's when we went on the river? Yeah. That was like fire river color. So there's two dark water colors right there in the clout. And this is pretty much a stick bait by six cents. I actually love it. I just don't get to use it as much. Got some more in the mail. We're good to go from there. Um, and then I got a prawn right here and this is black and blue. And then lastly, we got some four aught EWG hooks right there. Those are the stout wide gap. Um, and then we got some of the six cents pegs. So if you guys want to check out any of this stuff, you can get 10% off down below. Um, I just thought I'd throw that out there just in case you guys want a discount. And lastly, I got some tungstens by them. So we got the whole setup. It's going to be fun. Bradley got his old fancy pliers too. Look at these. These are Gerber pliers. Bradley, Bradley all glossy up in here. I like it. And uh, we're going to pair it up on my Mach 2 combo. This is on 17 pound fluorocarbon. You guys know I usually don't use anything below 17 pound. I end up breaking off a lot if I do. So we're gonna tie this bad boy up, get to fishing, and um, see if we can catch an eight plus pounder today. Cause Bradley's been hyping it up. I don't know if he's, uh, I don't know if he's lying to me or not. You lying to me, Bradley? You just have to find don't be, out. Don't be lying to me, Bradley. I don't know, we're gonna try it today. So let's go ahead and rig up, get out there, catch a big fish. And also I wanna add a question of the day. I'm gonna drop it down below. What is your favorite soft plastic of all time and why? And what is the biggest fish you've caught on it? That's the question of the day. Drop it down below. Also hit that like button. We need to get the like button up, people. It's been a little low lately, so help me out on that. But let's go ahead and get into it. Got like a lot of frays in my line. I did too. So I took a lot. Yeah, I'm taking a good bit of line out. That's Bro, the last I'm thing I want. I'm tying a new knot from now. God, man, it's got a lot of little frays in here. New knot now. Yeah, it's this called is... the double shindo. <laughs> the double shindo. This what is that? Look at that knot. This thing looks intense. The double shindo knot. I've never heard of that. What did you use to tie? The uni. Yeah, you were like me. Way stronger. Bro, what in the world, man? I got so much phrase. I think it. that's good. What's up? Just wing it. You lose an eight pounder, be honest. Just wing it. Yeah. And the people online are going to be mad and be like, Noah, why'd you break off again? Bro, I'm going to be like. You a floor carving company. All right, guys, we're going to take a bobber stop right here. You guys are wondering the size of this. This is. It does not say. Why does it not say? It literally does not say. It looks like a quarter. Yeah, one fourth ounce. It is a quarter. A sauce, dude. 
Yeah. That looks sexy. I actually like that tungsten, the blacked out one. Like a little that. matte tungsten. Yeah. I'm gonna beam some cast out towards that like grass over there on the edge. Right there. Ooh. I saw some fry pop when I did that. First cast, five pounder. Oh, I got one, bro. First cast. Literally, first cast, dude. <laughs> what? On the cloud. He's not even big. He's a little baby. Yo. I don't know if that's a good thing. Look at that boil out there, Bradley. Yeah. Throw in on that. Yo, this is a little fatty, too, man. That is a little fat fish, ain't he? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I caught one on my first cast. I'm telling you, that freaking cloud. I love it. I want to start throwing it more. But that's good. We got the first fish off the bat. Got the monkey off her back right away. Let's keep it going. And he got a drone shot over a bed, and the fish ate it. I'll have to show you. Oh my gosh. Yo, yo, that's a good one. Yo, that's a good one. Oh no, it's not. What? That's embarrassing, honestly. That's so embarrassing. He felt huge. I mean, he's not a bad fish. Yeah, he definitely had me in those rocks. He, dude, that was the hardest hit I've had in a very long time. Go ahead and make fun of me in the comments. That was uh, that was embarrassing. He had me right there in these bunch of rocks that come off this place. That's my second fish. Look how dark he is. Pretty though. Thank you, bud. Thought you were a big one. Oh my gosh, that was a big one, dog. I couldn't even get the right cast. That was a big fish. If you give me that frog, bro, I'll bet you I'll catch that fish. Guys, we just saw a freaking mega explode in the shade over here. You can't tell me there ain't one in that grass, dude. Right in the drain. Oh my God. Yep, yep. Dude, that's a giant, Bradley. Oh my God. I give you props, man. This man called it. This man called it. That was over four pounds right there. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting a minute for that. We have not had many bites and he was right. Look at him peeing. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the fishing everywhere. Dude, that is a good fish. That is that's over four and a half, I think. Chunk. How heavy she is. You have a scale, right? Yeah. Get a weight on her. Look at that. Right there under that tree in that shade line. I threw it up there. She's running to the right. I hook set, bro. She started pulling. That was a big bass right there. God. Let's go. All right, let's get a weight on her, Bradley. All right, guys, we got that good fish right there. I think he's a, he's somewhere in the four number. He ain't three. He's four something. Get her a weight real quick and get her right back in the water so she can go back on her bed, I'm assuming. I think it's pretty small. Think it? Yeah, it's definitely pretty small. Almost five, bro. Oh my God, 496, bro. Look at that. 496, can you read it on the camera? Yeah. That's a good fish, man. Almost a five, we'll call her a five pounder. That's five pounder. I knew she was freaking heavy and big, man. That is a beautiful fish. It's like the frame of a four pounder, but how dense she is. That's a five pound bass. Heck yeah, we're gonna keep hunting these giants and catching them. That's a good fish right there. Let's get her back in the water. And get this five pounder back in the water. That was on the clout right there. That clout catches them, guys. That's a beautiful one. You can get it up close shot, Bradley. Yeah. Get her, look how fat that slaunch is. That's a good bass. We're gonna keep on going, see if we can get some more. It's a beautiful fish, though. There, go. there she goes. <laughs> what you think about that? That's what a start. Right here? That's a start. No, he called that, Bradley called it right there. Freaking right there in the shade line. Give me some, man. We're gonna try to catch that eight pounder now. That was freaking phenomenal. I apologize for the noise in the background. I know that's kind of annoying, but right there on the six cents Texas rig stuff and 
on that clout, man. That was the Junebug Red. Oh, man. If you guys end up going and getting some of these, I want you guys to send me pictures of the fish that you catch. I'll post you guys up on my Instagram. I really want to see that. We can create a little clout challenge. That'd be kind of funny. See who, who, who has the most clout with the clout. That'd be a cool little challenge. So if you guys do get these, send me some pictures. We're going to keep flipping this bank. He was right there in that shade line. I know there has to be another one there. It's that rod. That rod's so... Oh my God, dude. Took my, took my Senko. She just grabbed it right at the bank. I'm going to catch this fish. Holy cow, she grabbed that clout right off. She just started running with it as I was pulling it out of the water. Holy cow. That might have been the male. But I got it like close to the bank. It could be some more fish position on bed. Rig this thing right back up real quick. It was right here where she bit it, but she ran to the right. Oop. She like ran right there with it. But her bed might be right there. I don't know. Or she just followed it in. That was interesting. I was the lightest bite. I never even knew. I just looked at my line and it was running. See, if I drop my Senko in there, I'll probably get eaten. There's freaking fish in there, dude. What the heck? What am I gonna do if I hook one though? Huh? That's dumb, dude. Guys, we're about to catch fish in a sewer. Little drainage pipe. It's not that bad. Come here real quick. Yeah, yeah come here. <laughs> Dude, if I catch a fish inside this, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. This is a, here's the title right here. Oh, look at, look at oh no, oh no, oh no, no, there's a big snake right there. There's a big snake. Dude. No, I'm looking at him. I can't even grab my rod. I ain't grabbing my rod, dude. I am not grabbing my rod. Screw you, Bradley, dude. Give me, give me away from this thing. That is a big Bro, snake. I am, dude. Look how big that thing is. Bro, I saw it. You're looking. I saw it. Bro, don't touch. Get, get away from that thing. Get, get, get that thing out of here. <laughs> I hate snakes. That is the biggest snake I've ever seen. I, I'm getting out of here, dude. I'm getting out of here. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, bro, when I looked over and saw that thing inches from me, I about myself. Where's it at? I see it. I see it. You want me to flip on it? Watch this. Ooh, that thing is so big. <laughs> oh, no. So you walked right over it, bro. Twice, bro. Like he didn't bite you. No, I walked around though. I didn't go oh, up you on. You didn't go right there. That's no. the reason why I went right there because I thought you went right. You want to grab it? There's always. No, you want to grab? That's a cotton mouth. That's one of the most poisonous snakes out there. Bro, I see it. No, I I am so afraid of snakes, dude. I hate I snakes. I hate snakes. Bro, I can't believe it hasn't moved. I'm just gonna leave that. That, that sounded like a really cool idea at first. Oh my god. Bro, I had a bite too. That's a big snake. Oh my god. Okay, let's get out of here. here. Dude, that's a big boy. I Dude, I, I'm serious, man. That was probably the closest I became of having a heart attack. I about lost my crap right there, dude. So guys, that was... Bradley, what do you guys say about that one? Big water moccasin. About bit my foot off. Bro, that was scary. That was she's away. That was the scariest, <laughs> the scariest thing I've had happen to me while fishing in a very long time. I've seen snakes recently, man. Like everywhere I've gone. Not that close. Well, and not that big. Yeah, not that close. And I didn't even know he was there. That was the scary part. 
And the scarier part was he was halfway in the sewer, dude. Going down there to get that fish, bro, and then they go. They it, go behind my you know what's even scarier is I put my fingers in those holes, bro. <laughs> dude, hell. Oh my god. Bro, what if I lifted that sewer up and we just saw them staring at us, dude? I probably, probably nest over there. I, that sewer cat would have never been on that thing ever again because I would have dropped it right then and there and ran like a little girl. Guys, there's there's one thing in this world that I hate, literally one thing, and it's snakes. Bro, I I'm telling you, man, there's one thing that I don't like, and it's snakes. Like I just I don't do them, man. I I don't do snakes. I don't care if it's a spider. I don't care. I don't, I don't care about spider. I don't care about any of that. When it comes to snakes, dude, have you caught them on these little pilings? I'd stay off the bank a little bit, guys. We about to sight fish. No, like legit sight fish. Up there. Yeah, yeah. This this water's clear enough. Like, look, you see the beds. All you have to do is hit them. Dude, there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. How about your first cast? We'll get one. This is the huge flat, guys. We used to fish this a good bit. Bradley's been saying he's been getting some good fish out of here, so we're gonna try. Look at how shallow it is. It's flat all the way out here. It's literally probably grass, bro. what would you say, a foot of water all the way out? Oh, there he is, right there. Oh, he spit it out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They're gonna be loaded. This is the whole flat, guys. It goes from here, technically to the other side. Surprised that there he is. Look at him running. Oh my gosh, this is a big one, dude. Oh! a three and a half pounder jesus that is surprising just got out that was my first cast bro there we go guys that's another good fish today that's a solid three pounder right there freaking fatty i was not expecting i hooked him in the tongue it's so weird i like when you hook them right here sometimes they get really bloody so you got to hit them on the right spot let's get him back in the water actually i'm gonna show him let's get one good little shot get him rinsed off a little bit i promise you i didn't i didn't deep hook him that's what mm. would you say a little over three yeah three three point two five that's surprising i was first cast out there on this big flat there he goes yeah that's so weird guys when you when you hook a fish in the tongue sometimes you know what i'm talking about don't you yeah, it happens all the time. and they just start bleeding like crazy and you're like i didn't even have them you know deep down that fish started running he did the same thing he hammered it one hard time he was taken off to the right and what those fish are doing if you get on their bed, what they usually do is they pick it up and sometimes they don't have it all the way and they'll move it off their bed and then drop it. So when you feel that bite and you see that fish running, you got a hook set right away or you're not going to get that fish. So what they do is they grab it and they move it off. Look at all these fish popping, bro. Let's get back, out Let's get back in there. Yo. I just, I just thought of this. Um, if, if you hear back from Quavo, yeah, him and, Be him and Bieber are super close. Yo, I got a fish. Hold up, I got a fish. I got a fish. Oh man! Oh, it's a decent one. Holy cow! Hold on, give you me one second. Hey, you mute, sick boy? yeah, mute, <laughs> mute your phone real quick. <laughs> All right, guys, you got the first fish this morning. Oh, he ain't as big as I thought. He ain't a bad one though. Know? Right there on the clout. Still getting it done. We got it done yesterday with the clout. Look at that beautiful fish. First one this morning. We're gonna keep hunting with this. I hate that I couldn't use my frog. I just freaking, I don't know. I, I forgot a backlash of the thing yesterday off of one little tiny piece of grass. <laughs> but we're gonna keep throwing this clout, see if we can get some more. I wanna see if we can catch a big female. Nice little tiny bass, get her back in. All right, let's keep her going. And, oh shit. Yo, you still on the phone? Yeah, I hear you. Dude, I just dropped my phone in the water, I swear. It sounds like it. It sounds like I got like Dude, I am all nasty too. I got all this slime on my arm. Give me a second. What in the world? That's the first time I dropped an iPhone in the water. Oh, <laughs> rather than fishing with an iPhone with you. Oh my god. I can barely hear you. It's like there's water all in my speakers. What in the world, guys? I just dropped my freaking iPhone. Good thing I get the new iPhone. Freaking just dropped this sucker right in the water. I had her like tucked in behind my chest cam. Look at this nasty stuff I got on my arm now. Freaking soaked. What the heck? Dropped that thing in the water. That is crazy. I've never done that before. Thank god. It still works. 
why people you know all the crazy stuff that went down yesterday with the snake and the big bass i i want to come over here and try to catch these fish we have more bites we're gonna see if we can hook another big him this is where we caught that five pounder yesterday and i know there's more fish around here so we're gonna give it a shot There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's a good one too. Come on, baby. Yes. Yes. Oh snap. There we go. Look at that fish. Almost three pounder right there. I bet you he's pushing three. He's very close up there. Heck yeah. Not, not, not like a five pounder. <laughs> Thank you. That's a beautiful fish right there. Got a little audience watching us. That is awesome. Solid three number right there. I promise you that that fish has three pounds, if not three and a quarter. <laughs> it's a decent one. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> there we go. Pretty fish. First one over here in the same spot. It's awesome. It's good. Heck yeah, guys, that is freaking sweet. Sorry about the noise, man. I got cut in the grass. It's all good. He's, he wanted to see a fish. We're gonna keep going. That was right there on the clout. The clout is killing it. Let me tell you, in this video, we have caught a bunch of great fish on this clout. I'm pumped about that. I've been really wanting to go fish with this for a minute. And I just haven't had much time to go take it out. I've been so addicted to like a frog bite and stuff like that. But slowing down with the Texas rig Especially with this cloud on it has just been a lot of fun. It's been a good little change up from what I've been doing. It's getting the quality bites too, especially with these fish on bed this time of year. It's gonna be good. Let's see if there's another one. That was a male, I would assume, which that's a big male right there. That's, that's a good male. I, I dead stuck it. I skipped it up under that tree and I didn't even move it. And he was just barely walking with it. I never felt him bite. It's cause they're on bed right under these trees. You know, that's where I caught that five pounder yesterday. There's a couple fish right there on bed. I think Bradley missed that one. Trick is you skip it up there and you just let it sit. You don't even move it and he'll just start walking with it. Come on, big fish. I know, you get, I know there's something loaded up on this. Yep, he's got it. Took my Senko. He's on bed right there. He's on bed right there. I can't tell you if that was a big one or not, but if I'm assuming, that was probably a big one because these big ones are biting on bed. I ain't really catching the males. It's like when we get a bite on this stuff, it's been the females. He took that Senko right off of there. It took that clout. I can tell you one thing, this clout right here is giving me some more clout right now. I will say that they've been, they've been eating this thing. I'm enjoying it actually. I get like so caught on certain baits guys and I like keep using specific baits and then I just forget about how much fun I have with other baits. And that's why I'm just like enjoying this so much. And obviously bank fishing for giants, you know, haven't filmed one of these in a minute. We're gonna let that sit right there. Hopefully she'll pick it up again. This is what happened. I've been dead sticking my bait so I throw it out there and I just let it sit. You never feel these fish bite. Is you throw it up there on this grass. I haven't really talked about what I'm doing right now. So you throw it, so you got this like ice, these little isolated grass patches along the bank. And these fish, what they'll do is they'll go bed right up on it. And this water is actually really dirty. It rained the last couple of days, so it dirtied up the water. So you can't really see much. So we're not really sight fishing them. But let me tell you what I'm doing. So I'm throwing on the edge of this grass and I throw it up there and I just let the bait sit. I'm not over here hopping it a ton. I'm not over there, you know, working it really fast. I throw it up on that grass patch to where I think there would be a fish on bed. Any of these little clumps, like right here, I would expect a fish to be on bed right there. Right on that little clump, I would expect there to be another fish. On that clump, I would expect there to be another fish. 
So what I'm doing is I'm throwing up there and I'm just literally letting that dang thing sit, not doing a thing. So I throw it up there right where I want it to be and I just let it sit there. And I'm checking my line obviously because this is very important. When you're bed fishing and you're catching fish off bed, what they'll do is they'll grab it and sometimes they won't have it all the way. They'll just grab it and they'll run to the right or to the left. And what, what they're doing is they're pretty much taking that bait off their bed. So that fish just exposed itself right there. You know, he grabbed it, he started running off to the right. A hook said he took my bait. He didn't have it all the way. He was just moving my bait off his bed. So I know 100% there's a bed there. So, you know, even if I don't catch this fish right now, you know, walking back, I might be like, you know what? We need to keep casting right here and see if he'll bite. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Right there. I think I figured out how to catch him. That's a good another three pounder. Oh yes. <laughs> or he ain't even that big. He about two and a half though. There we go. That's a uh it's a decent one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a decent one. About two two number. It's not bad guys this bank i'm telling you they are on see that's a male right there oh see these are good males too these are the big ones that are sitting under this tree they're freaking there let me tell you caught that five yesterday caught a three and then caught a two and we had other bites on there 